हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आज हम स्टैंडर्ड नाइन का ज्योग्राफी लेसन नंबर फर्स्ट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशनल मैप्स इस लेसन की एक्सरसाइज देखेंगे क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट है क्यू रीजन वाई फॉलोइंग सेंटेंस आर राइट और रॉन्ग उसमें फर्स्ट है द मेन एम ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशनल मैप्स इज टू शो लोकेशन एंसर रॉन्ग The main aim of distributional maps is to show the location, but to show the distribution of various element in a particular region. For example, distribution of temperature, rainfall, population, etc. Question number second is in chloroplast maps, only one value is assigned to the sub-administrative unit. Answer right. First point is. The chloroplast maps, the data recording, various geographical variables are shown by shading or tint of various colors. Second point, after gathering the data for a selected variable, five to seven classes are made considering smallest and largest values. Each class is assigned with a tint of same color or black and white patterns. For number point, the value is shown by pre-dedicated tint of color can represent only one region or a group of region. Thus, in chloroplast maps, only one value is assigned to sub-administrative unit. Number three is in chloroplast maps, colors or tint do not change according to the value of the variables. Answer wrong. First point is the chloroplast maps the smallest and the largest value of the given data of the variable in a region are taken into consideration. After that, five to seven classes are made. Second, each class interval has different values, and according it is assign a unique tint of same color or black and white patterns. Thus, in chloroplast maps. Color or tint changes according to the value of the variables. Four number question: Chloroplast maps are used to show altitudes. Answer wrong. First point is isoplast maps do not chloroplast maps are used to show the altitude. When the distribution of a variable is continuous like altitude, then isoplast maps is used. Isoplast maps are lines joining location having equal values, and hence it is easy to show the change of altitude in a particular region. For number point, if the distribution of variables is discontinuous, then the chloroplast method is used to show the distribution of various variables. Example: the distribution of population and domestic animals, etc. Question number five. Isoplast maps are used to show population distribution. Answer wrong. First point A. Dot method maps or chloroplast method maps are used to show the population distribution. Second point. Distribution of population is discontinuous. Third point. Isoplast maps are used to show the distribution of variables which are continuous. For number point. Thus. Isoplast maps do not used to show the distribution of population of a region. Sixth one is in dot method, every dot should have an appropriate scale. Answer wrong. The size of a dot is decided as per the value of variable that is freely scattered across the map. The distributional map based on statistical data are made by dot method. Dot method maps are used to show the distribution of variable like population, cattle. Thus, the size of the dot changes as per the value of variable which is freely scattered on map. Seventh one is. Isoplast maps do not made using iso lines. Answer wrong. Isoplast maps 
are made by using isolines. Isolines are lines joining location of the same value of a given variable in a map. Isoplate map sorrow also made by using these lines. Hence, we can say that they are made by using isolines. Page one hai, distribution of various geographical elements can be shown using dot method. Answer wrong. The first point hai, the distribution of various geographical elements cannot be shown by using dot method map. Second point, the distribution of geographical elements which are freely scattered over a map can be shown by using dot method map. The distribution of various variable like population, cattle can be shown on a dot method map. The distribution of variables like temperature, rainfall, altitude are continuous and hence cannot be shown by using dot method map. Question 2. Answer in brief. First question is explain the use and type of distributional maps. Answer. The distributional maps are necessary for explaining the pattern of distribution of particular geographical and variables. The type of distributional maps, the following are the type of distributional maps. First type is dot method map. The distributional maps are based on statistical data. Maps made by this method makes use of dot of a predecided size are used to show the distribution of a particular variable. Example, dot method map is used to show the distribution of population and distribution of cattle. Second type is map ka chloroplate method map. The distribution maps made by this method make use of shades or tint of various color to show the distribution of a particular variable. Example, the chloroplate method map is used to show the population density, type of forest covers and use of land. Third type is isoplate method map. The distribution maps made by this method make use of lines joining location or places of same or equal value to show the distribution of a particular variable. Example, the isoplate method map is used to show the distribution of temperature, rainfall, altitude, etc. Question 2. Differentiate between chloroplate and isoplate methods. Answer. Chloroplate method, isoplate method hai. Chloroplate method mein first point hai. Chloroplate method maps are used to show the population density, types of forest cover and use of land. Isoplate method mein first point hai. Isoplate method maps used to show the distribution of altitude, temperature, rainfall, etc. Chloroplate map mein second point hai. Chloroplate methods maps are used to show the distribution of variables which are discontinuous. Or isoplate method map may second point hai. Isoplate method map are used to show the distribution of variables which are continuous. Chloroplate method maps may third point hai. The distributional maps made by this method makes use of shades or tint of variable color to show the distribution of a particular variable. Isoplate method my third point hai. The distributional maps made by these methods makes use of lines joining location or places of same or equal value to show the distribution of a particular variable. Question number three hai. Explain with reasons the method which is best suited to show the distribution of population in a region. Answer. First point hai answer me. The dot method of making distributional maps is best suited for the distribution of a population 
in a region. Second point, dots used in this method are given a particular value which is determined by selecting a proper scale, considering the spread of value of a variable in the given region. Third point A, this method is best suited for a distribution of variables which are freely scattered in as in case of a population distribution. Question number three hai, which method will you use for the following information? Usme first question hai, taluka wise, wheat production in the district. Answer, dot method. Second question hai, distribution of altitude of the land in the district. Answer, isoplate method. Question three hai, Distribution of domestic animal in the state. Answer dot method. For number question hai, the distribution of a population density in India. Answer chloroplate method. Fifth one question. Temperature distribution in Maharashtra state. Answer isoplate method. Question number four. Study the population distribution maps of Kolhapur district and answer the following questions. Usme first, which method has been used to show the distribution of a population in the district? Answer, the dot method has been used to show the distribution of a population in the district. Question second, explain the direction wise distribution of population from Danes to spares. Answer. The distribution of population is dense in the eastern part of the district, whereas the western part of the district has low density of population. Question 3. What is the population shown by the largest circle? Which place is that? Answer. The population shown by the largest circle is nearly 20 lakhs. That place is Kolapur city, Karvir Taluka. Question 4 hai, which Taluka has the least population? Answer, Gagan Bawada Taluka has the least population. Thanks for watching video. Yatta Navi cha, Marathi Semi and Ingraji ya Madhiman cha, Sarvavishan cha Swathya cha, Navnuvin video sati channel la subscribe na ki kara. वीडियो ला लाइक करा, कमेंट करा, अनि वर्ग मित्राना शेर करा.